Howdy, 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 my beautiful Scorpio. I hope you're doing well, darling. My name is Simply Valka, and let's get into your weekly tarot reading, Scorpio, for March 2022. All right, darling. So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, let me know in the comments below how this reading resonates, as well as be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, darling. All right, if you enjoy my vibe for today or you just enjoy this reading, honey. All right, so let's jump right into your reading here today, Scorpio, and see what the tea is. All right, see what's going on, what's good, what's popping with you, Scorpio. All right, it's been a moment right seven of wands coming in here scorpio Ooh, dialing 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 who would y'all piss off two of wands coming in here as well as the strength card coming in here scorpio back of the deck here is the queen of pentacles so what i want to be telling you right off the bat here scorpio is just i feel inclined to tell you to just like watch your back darling all right seven of wands that's a card of where i mean honestly scorpio it's like it could be more than just one singular energy of i can't help but feel like there's someone like something or someone wanting to like it's it's giving me very much so an energy scorpio of like you just live in your life honey and like this energy over here is just like not enjoying seeing you as this queen of pentacles, right? They're not happy seeing you just thriving, living in your abundance and just moving on with your life, right? Because that's the word that just came up is like moving on, honey, all right? And so you, <laughs> this gives me very much so someone who hasn't gotten over you or doesn't like seeing how you're succeeding while they're just like laying down in the dumps and just doing whatever it is that they're doing, darling, right? Like who cares about them? They're nobody to you. They're irrelevant to you at this point in time. But I get very much so this energy with this person, Scorpio, where it's like, a collective just like plotting against you or a collective really like let's not say plotting right now because there's no cards aggressively saying anything right off the bat currently scorpio about wanting to do anything but it's like you have a whole group of haters honey a whole group of people that are just like each time you collect your checks honey like you piss off more people you piss off these people more and more and they're just like watching from like in the shadows darling right it's like you're triggering a lot in them with this strength energy right and so it's like <sighs> It's this weird energy Scorpio where it's like a normal or well, a healthy person or someone that's rational would see you see you thriving, be like, oh, that inspires me, that motivates me to want to do more with my own life here. Where with these people, uh, less developed people here, uh, Scorpio, this is like triggering them and being like, oh, like why does this person, over, why does Scorpio get to have this happening in their life? Why you know, like they don't deserve this and very much so that vibe. So all I want to be telling you, Scorpio, is just uh keep it keep like an evil eye on you all right queen of pentacles can do because it's like the queen of pentacles still just came right back out y'all saw, saw how i was about to start shuffling again honey right like whoever this is or this group of people are scorpio they are not happy with uh seeing you guys just thriving really just going up in the world all right and so just keep an evil eye on you black tourmaline be careful about who you share your success with or who you share your happiness with because that might be something that's going on as well scorpio is that it's like yeah hierophant energy here mm. scorpio now this is not going to be for everybody so i don't want all my scorpios to be freaking out wondering like being like oh like who do i need to be concerned about in my personal space here hierophant energy i feel like it is like a small like maybe like five percentage of you scorpios of where um you're opening up to somebody and you probably already have no you definitely have already sensed it with this person where it's just like you start to talking about like these plans you have the things you want to be doing with your life and then their energy just isn't there you know maybe they're not being like necessarily like hateful or anything like that scorpio but they're just it's not it's not giving what it needs to be giving from a support system all right does that make sense scorpio so yeah, Hierophant energy, this is like someone, you know, that traditional energy where you have committed to this energy for quite a while now, all right? This has been part of your life for a while, but for some reason, honey, even with that history, darling, <laughs> you're still making him upset, honey. They don't have this concept of where we're all growing together. They don't, like, this is giving me very much so someone that wants to, all right, intuitively what I get with this energy here, can I be honest here, Scorpio? It's someone that's very prideful very prideful they like to be like the leader of the pack they like to be the one where all the attention is on them could be a leo here naturally but just because all the attention on you and that <laughs> that strength leo energy here all right they might have strong leo on their chart but this is someone who wants who likes to have all the attention all the focus on them um they are the ones that are i don't want to say they're used to being the ones that are like the shot callers or the 
what have you here but it's like i don't know i feel like this sense of where it's hard for them to accept that someone else is doing better than they are we're not let's not even say doing better right because that puts it at a competition scorpio and you're in your own lane honey okay but <laughs> they don't like seeing someone else doing what perhaps they wish they could be doing scorpio they're used to being the one just yeah so let's continue on here nine of cups coming in here i do feel like for you guys scorpio whatever it is that you guys have been investing into just keep doing what it is that you have been doing darling this nine of cups energy is just like you're on the path of just progression you are on the path towards success and you already have no like you know that all right you know that if you haven't already started seeing the results of just like the hard work that you've been putting into this situation um what it is that you're trying to bring forth into your life here you're going to feel it really soon because these people and here's the thing as well scorpio something i want to be pointing out is just because you see for yourself like how you might be we're always more critical of ourselves and our potential and like what we could be doing with our lives but it's like for you scorpio you may not be giving yourself enough credit and the outside allow this exterior attention be the affirmation that you unless not you didn't need but you definitely could really benefit from being like oh okay i might not be seeing up these all, all these other people honey they're talking right now that must be mean i'm doing something correct darling right if you're being talked about honey that just means you're doing something right okay so just continue on with your path nine of cups energy i no complaints there right no complaints there we have the five of cups coming in now as well as the heart of this energy now for you scorpios now i'm not going to sit on this energy for too much longer scorpio because i mean we're all adults here honey right for, i mean most of the, mo the 99 percent of us okay <laughs> and it's like this is the crying over spilled milk and i feel like with you scorpios i mean i'm a libra scorpio cusp so i feel like i can talk to you scorpios like i have an understanding and plus i've always just had the most score i've had more scorpios in my life than any other zodiac sign i have a friend group where it's just like all of our score all of our birthdays are on like the same week it starts on my birthday the 20th and there's a birthday every single day until the 27th it's kind of cool um so I, I digress from that scorpio i feel as if this is like a don't get stuck on this energy here you know and it's easier said than done let's be real scorpio when you hear someone when you find out that people are not supporting you or just you know hate being hateful and just having their own narrative it may not be that you're being triggered by what it is that they're saying or what it is that they're thinking but you may just be triggered by like the misinformation you know you know i feel like scorpios out of all the zodiac signs are just being like you know honey you can hate me if you want to hate me call me a bitch if you want to call me a bitch darling but you better have proper justification for it right it better be off of some valid information not just something that you're making up in your own head right so you may want to be you might have the desire of wanting to correct it scorpio but you don't want to entertain it all right you don't want to entertain this at all you have the four of pentacles continue just doing in the yeah y'all are making proper investments scorpio obviously i'm not no my financial major honey I ain't no financial major. I'm not no financial advisor, darling. But I do feel that the four of pentacles, that's what it is that you're putting your energy into. It's a card of investments, right? And so for you guys, even with this five of cups energy, if we're going to, uh, going to associate this with your... Um, your investment pursuits right financially energetically you might be in your head a little bit being like oh well why isn't it paying off in the way why isn't giving it what it needs to give why isn't why aren't you getting the payout that you were hoping for in this situation you're write it out for a little bit longer all right you're you're making like really scorpio this is like such a pleasant energy to be tapping into can i be honest because it's like there's not really much there's not there isn't any editing that y'all need to be doing with your path you are on the path towards your uh, <laughs> i'm kind of laughing because i I heard in my head it's just a like path of righteousness but it's a bit severe and like honestly scorpio i'm not sure what that would even quite represent but maybe that's for somebody honey all right i'll just let it flow but full transparency honey i don't really know what path towards righteousness means because what is righteousness like how would you do let's continue on with your reading honey all right y'all are just making very good choices with your path don't get in your head about it and don't get distracted by this energy here allow this first row to just be this affirmation that you needed scorpio to be like all right honey like you're gonna be you you over here hating honey just wait and see like you're gonna get sick of me real soon honey because this isn't even at my my fullest potential that's how i feel your energy should be scorpio it's just being like honey you're you you hating now you getting jealous now darling oh you haven't even seen the full 100 percent of where it could be going you right now you're seeing my 10 percent, darling so just continue striving in what you're doing scorpio don't allow this to distract you because hello scorpio scorpio 
we just got the ten of freaking cups darling right after your nine of cups here can we take a moment to appreciate scorpio hello <laughs> you are on the journey you are progressing beautifully towards that ten of cups all right ten of cups that's that um fulfilling family like whatever it is that you are trying to go after and be fulfilled in you are going to be around the right people you're like as you continue in your success spirit is going to make sure that you are surrounded by the appropriate people as you continue evolving because that might be the case as well this is might be an energy where it's like i mean us southerners honey we're just like oh bless your heart honey right and now that might be the situation here with you where it's just like oh bless your heart you're just so underdeveloped here you are not going anywhere with your life so you're lashing out here right spirit's going to make sure that you are present like you have the appropriate people presented on your path that are actually better vibrational match for you that will uplift you. So don't stress about the social aspect and getting you, making sure that you're around the right people or making sure that like, or trying to like make relationships work, whether it's romantic or platonic in your life working out. If it's not working out, darling, just let it be, all right? Cause spirit's gonna make sure that you are completely taken care of. And just, this is crazy, Scorpio, having that 10 of cups after. We have the five of swords here so i will have to warn you guys scorpio is really i see for you guys just the biggest thing like it keeps coming up here the five of swords that's like one it's a card of conflict right you notice this person this little this card can i be honest here scorpio of course i can be honest honey it's my channel hello but it's just like this card really encapsulates everything notice how i hid my broken or not broken but chipped nail <laughs> um this five of swords really encapu encapsulates scorpio really the overallness of this reading here in that first row that we were talking about you see the haters in the back trying to get in your head here and this is who you are and just like putting that trying to uh that devil on your shoulder that imposter syndrome darling where you start questioning yourself right that's the intention of what this person is trying to be having to do right they're trying to impact your progression really that's the biggest hurdle to be overcoming scorpio all right ignore these voices don't like the challenge is what you can be expecting coming for you is just the imposter syndrome the distractions it's like you're doing so good in your path right now scorpio that um really now at this point people are just trying to throw in anything that they can do to slow down the growth that you are having scorpio for whatever their personal reasons are right it's none of our business and plus who cares right again they're irrelevant we don't need to understand why they're doing it we just understand that they're pathetic we're trying right because it's just like darling you must not know about me honey miss beyonce darling hello <laughs> And then we have the Queen of Cups coming in here. This is really affirming what I was saying beforehand, Scorpio, where Spirit's going to make sure that you are per, put on the path of the appropriate people um, to of your match, of your vibration. Queen of Cups is also known as keeping your eye on the prize. You're going to get what it is that you have been desiring, right? The Queen of Cups, well, she's always called the Queen of Cups. She's never... 99 at least in the original rider waits to row she's never holding a cup it's a trophy so most queen of our uh, cups artwork doesn't hold a trophy and so just keep your eye on the prize keep it very laser focused right uh, ignore the uh, white noise really that's what the message is here is like ignore the white noise because honey this is irrelevant to you darling all right because four of wands coming in we're wrapping up this reading now scorpio four of wands coming in that's the card of marriage that's the card of celebration notice this theme here where you're not alone in this journey again you are right now just detaching from people who just are not able to celebrate in your success and thriving right and then we have these six of cups coming in here so they might actually you know what actually because the six of cups talks about past energies here scorpio right you do you see the little boy with their dog and grows up to be this way all right and also by definition scorpio the six of cups represents receiving an offer and so in this dynamic you might you know this energy here for some of you guys now obviously to each their own and every personal situation is very personal to you honey and your relationships with these people but for some of you it's just like they're going through their own personal shadows and y'all will end up reconnecting at a later point you guys just need to put a pause button well you need to put a pause button on this relationship and just focus on your growth yeah focus on manifesting honey hello oh, y'all's reading scorpio can i just say darling was so pleasant to do this flowed so beautifully all right whatever this energy is don't engage with it take a pause with it or just end it for most of you scorpios but for some of you who are clinging on to this person that you have this long history with right because that hierophant energy Energy, energy didn't just come just willy-nilly right um just put a pause button on it you guys are in the process of manifesting you are in the early stages of building something very big scorpio so just put all your energy put all your focus prioritize in that and things are going to be beautiful for you darling i promise you scorpio i promise you honey all right 
take this sign of like uh, this outside attention and people being jealous of you as just an affirmation, honey, that you just you thriving, you're glowing, darling. Okay, so I love you so much, Scorpio. This is the tarot reading that I have for you this week of March 2022. I hope this resonated. If you did, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Be sure if you want to um, book a private to personal reading with me, Scorpio. My website's linked down below. Simply Valker. Dot com next to my social medias tiktok and instagram also just being simply velka but and yeah until next time scorpio i love you so much and i hope i can connect with you sometime in the near future bye darling